Always listening to our players, including asks for future features like cross-platform play. Including future features like cross-platform play. The fact that they mentioned it means that maybe they're looking into it. Cross-platform play. Maybe they're looking into it. Cross-platform play. Maybe they're looking into it. Cross-platform play. Oh my god. We don't ignore crossplay. We just don't have anything to say about it. We would all love to do it. It's just not something that is happening anytime soon right now. Ooh. 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 Hello, beta testers. Ooh. And wow, did you hear? We're always listening to our players. They're always listening to their players. That's me. I'm the player. And even though at the time they were struggling to meet the bare minimum, and have made such leaps and bounds in the time between then and now. Oh, fuck. Future features like cross-platform play. They mentioned cross-play. We hear you loud and clear. We hear you loud and clear. Police, uh, may I have some updates on the cross-play situation? We don't ignore cross-play. We just don't have anything to say about it. It's just not something that is happening anytime soon, right? There are no updates, and there never will be. What? <laughs> I'm gonna tell Kyle about it. We go on it, I okay? I go tell him then. Oh, you can't. You need us. You need the people. Well, you bloody right, but I'd rather die than admit it. And scene. Hmm. Wow, where everything stuff. So good at this, so entertaining. If I were watching something like this, I'd be furious that I could only like it once. I'd probably have to, I don't know, create a couple of clones. Maybe even that wouldn't be enough. It'd need to be a clone army. And people would say, your clones are very impressive. You must be very proud. <laughs> and I'd say, I'm just a simple man trying to make my way in the universe. And then they'd say, ever made your way as far into the interior as cross <laughs> What's particularly insane about them selectively mentioning crossplay among many of the other issues that players have had since the game came out, it shines such an interesting light on what's going on. Why mention it, if not something being actively pursued when you said it five months ago? And of course it begs the question, do you just say things? to dupe suckers and to hype, even when you have pretty much no work on something like that done, or there's no progress. You mention Hawkeye only to have eight months pass before he's implemented? Seven months ago, we were hearing about cloning labs. Five months ago, we were hearing about Omega level threats. Where does that leave us on the things that you're hyping up right now? If this game was somehow in development for years before launch and is by your admission developers, in its current state, so faulty that it can't handle keeping players together for endgame modes, eight months after launch, why are people pretending that the team is big and resourceful enough to meet any expectations? Even the kindest content creators took immediate issue with the offensively repetitive 48 floor hive garbage for terrible loot. On an online multiplayer RPG, hiding your best gear, behind a single play and it just frustrates me for whatever reason why you didn't have this be multiplayer makes absolutely no sense and then when i'm playing it it's broke can't do nothing because the enemies don't pop up i'm gonna restart it one more time but it's okay because that was six months ago and it's not like those are still problems in the game oh wait a minute they of course still are and I must believe that in the time that has passed, that if you could have made it multiplayer, you would have. But you haven't, so you can't. I'm going to make a border for this because it's explosively important to me, and I don't want to end up looking back at this as a prophecy of doom. Many people's main wish for this game is something selfish like a character or some bullshit that they specifically want added into the game, but my huge wish for this game reflects the reality of the writing on the wall, and I believe it to benefit most players. This game's servers, at some point, are going down. Am I saying it's happening soon? No. 
Am I saying that it'll happen before Spider-Man? I have no idea. But it is my belief that in the game's current state, if hypothetically the servers were to be shut down right now, players would not have access to a great portion of things in the game, and I don't want that at all. Even if there's nothing to do, even if the game can barely function at times, the sandbox and the combat, thanks to Vince and his team, are the best feeling part of this game. If I had a selfish wish, it would be that they'd focus exclusively on finishing and dumping new hero characters into the game in case this motherfucker gets shut down. Just forego the narrative and episodic installments of, 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 of things that we may not be able to see to its completion. You're not making bank with this game because the best you can do are asset flips and nobody wants to buy that. I feel like best case scenario with this game is if years after this does get shut down, somehow some PC community of modders can figure out implementing new heroes, modding in, you know, models and outfits and it's hopeless. It sucks. Because when you care about seeing a good version of something and you know that when they're trying and failing this spectacularly that it's going to discourage other people from trying something like this again, it sucks. I feel insane even talking about it. How could something like this fail? But watching these butthurt defenders try to point at Cyberpunk and Outriders, bitch, those games are complete. As buggy as they may be, there's shit in it to do and see. And more importantly, people are actually interested in it, son. Don't nobody care about Marvel's Avengers. It's become gaming's butt of the joke. You have a developer stream. And I can't help but see this picture and think, as a Marvel fan, not one of the ones you specifically appeal to on Twitter with a blue check mark, but the real fans, the ones that are numerous enough to have made a game like this a success, you don't really know about that kind of fan. I think, why choose Kamala Khan to promote and drum up hype when as a character she's so unpopular and so unoriginal that she had to borrow her own name? And it's just as laugh-worthy as the explosion of L's following the mystifying announcement of fan least favorite Archer Girl, another character so unoriginal she borrowed her own name. Now, as a gamer, when I see this image, <laughs> I'm sorry, when I see this image, as someone familiar with the photo mode in the current build of your game, this picture in the current build is not possible because the person taking the picture cannot emote and therefore can't pose for a picture, even when they're solo inexplicably. A ridiculous fact with how many other games figured this out years before this one came out. I completely understand that this may just be a promotional image with a developer mode camera, but when you say, look at the possibilities and show an impossible image, why are you roasting yourself? In the game's current build, you can't even take a picture like that. Top that off with emotes, where every time you even show or mention them, you dunk on yourself because you still don't have an emote wheel, which is extra funny because you expect to make money off your cosmetics when they're asset flips, when there's no emote wheel, when purchased skins glitch and stay glitched for weeks. It's not funny anymore. We're worried about you, Crystal. Stop. Get some help. Thank you, beta testers, for listening. Hit me with 800 likes, and I'm actually going to make a video dropping amazing ideas for this game that I'm pretty sure will blow your mind considering the game's state and how reasonable they are.